Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord and our Bandit Lord playthrough. Yeah, I should probably say welcome back to Bandit Lord, shouldn't I? That would probably make more sense. Anyway, <laughs> I have seen a couple of your comments. Well, I've seen most of them, if not all of them, actually. But the point is, is that thank you very much for all the support on this idea, on this concept that I have wanted to do for a very long time. And... I've installed a couple of mods that you have uh, you have suggested. One of them is the more raiding mod, which is going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a link in the description to that if you'd also like to play it. And I also have the concealed knives and daggers mod as well. So that makes it a little bit easier for you to be a bit sneaky in the back streets. Anyway, what I'm going to be participating in here is a small tournament. And, well, I say small tournament, but obviously we're in Batania, so we do have the ability to use two-handed here, which is actually quite fun, as you can see. Two-handed is actually working quite nicely for me, but I am going to be a bit... Oh, dear. No, no. No, no. No, no. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, that's, that's problematic. Ooh, okay. I was very lucky right there. Very, very lucky indeed. I can only hope that my forces are going to be able to survive here. I'm gonna try and sneak up. Ah, no! Ah, I tried. I tried to sneak up, but it wasn't enough. Was not enough. I can only hope that my forces are gonna be able to defeat this last enemy here. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, something tells me that the bandit ironclad is probably going to win this. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more, friend. A little bit more. You can do it. Batanian highborn warrior. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Okay, he got him. He got him. Okay, so there we go. We did qualify for the next stage of the tournament. Whew, that was a bit close, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a bit close. All right. So we can now wager some more cash. Probably might, might as well do the maximum, right? Might as well do the maximum. And let's see. Ooh. The bandit ironclad is actually on the enemy team again. And I have a two-handed axe once more. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful here. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful, but I also have to be fast. Oh, no. No, no. Ah. No. Okay. Phew. There we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Now we can now we can try him. Ah, whoa, the banded ironclads are super difficult, aren't they? Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised how incredible they are. Anyway, let's try and do some damage. Nice. Whew. Okay, took took her down. It's so unfortunate that we just haven't been able to use a two-handed before in this playthrough, so I am now having difficulties using it in a tournament situation. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to get one. I've been looking around. I have been looking around, but it hasn't... Whoa, that was an insane hit right there. Wow, okay, yeah, this guy is going to beast me. What do you bet? What do you bet this guy is going to beast me in the next round? Because it's just me and him now, and I've bet a lot of money, and I have a... Oh, I have a sword this time. I might actually do all right here. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Offense, offense. That's all I can do. Literally, that is all I can do because, let's face it, if I'm able to block at least once, then I do have an opening to go full-on offense, and that's exactly what I want to do. So there you go. Nice amount of cash right there. We did get a short sword as well, which I very much appreciate, so that means that I might be able to go into the merchant here. Why do I only get this? Why do I only have this as a weapon. I have no idea. It's pretty awful, isn't it? Pretty, pretty awful. Actually, you know what? I'm going to equip that real quick, and then we're just going to sell that. But uh, yeah, that is kind of a shame. I'm not entirely sure where all the, the cool weapons are. doesn't seem to be uh, available. Ooh, fencing stolen goods. We might be able to do that. Uh, yeah, let's let's fence some stolen goods, but that is going to increase our criminality. But does it matter? Because we are technically a roving band of miscreants, I suppose you could say. And, uh, well, not having any base, so to speak, quote-unquote, is not really going to uh, affect us that much. So let's have a look. Stolen goods. 500? You can say that I'm interested. Sure. 
All right, I'm going to do this literally just because it is a criminal activity and it is quite fun to do criminal activities in the game. So we'll see. One of the merchants comes to talk to you. This is none of your business, merchant. Okay, so yeah, we're also going to have a little bit of a backstory. Our backstory is most likely going to be a case where we are going to be... Um, we, we, were, we, were, we grew up very poor on the streets of the Empire, something along those lines, and uh, we are now wanting to make them pay for their... Uh, shall we say, for their... Uh, well, uncompassionate selves. Uncompassionate? Incompassionate? Uh, cruel, I guess you could call it. More more like cruel selves, I suppose. So anyway, so that means that we are going to probably head down to Western Empire. Mm, I think I would prefer to attack the Southern Empire, but they're actually quite far away from me at the moment. So I'm not entirely sure if we can get over there easily enough. I did level up again as well, by the way, so we probably do want to level something up. We're going to be probably leveling up our athletics a little bit more here as well, and I'm probably going to go for another little bit in endurance too. And I still really quite badly want to find a two-handed weapon. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I will just stop by every single town that I possibly can, and we'll see what I can do about uh, potentially gaining uh, gaining something nice Okay, ah, they have better stuff. All right, they have, yes, they have much better weapons. So we might very well be able to find a two-handed here. This could be good. E uh, yes, an iron broadsword. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yes, I think I will I will buy that. I. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really want to use an iron broadsword, if at all possible. I would much prefer to use a falx of some kind. But uh, I, I guess we will just use that. The scythe actually is calling to me quite a bit because I think that could be very fun. But I am using a two-handed, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna just buy this. It's gonna be four thousand, very expensive indeed. But I think it's going to be kind of worth it in the end. So we'll just use that, and I do want to equip that to my character. Where where is it? There it is. And we're going to keep, yeah, we are going to keep the spear. We're going to actually just swap those around. But we are going to keep the spear just in case we have to deal with some cavalry. Because obviously cavalry is going to be kind of difficult for us to deal with. As we are primarily a uh, infantry focused army, infantry focused character. And uh, we don't really want to be in a situation where we have difficulties. So what we're going to do now is we are going to basically wage almost a one-man war against the Empire in many, many different ways. So, ah, we are not allowed inside here. Of course we aren't. All right, so we're still not allowed inside, so that means that I will be attempting to pick on some of their caravans. Okay, so that's a Vlandia caravan. Aha, there is a Western caravan. I hope that I'll be able to actually catch up to them. There's some villagers. I don't really want to attack villagers if I can help it. Because we could do a thing where we are, uh, I think someone actually mentioned this in the comments, but we could do a thing where we are basically Robin Hood of some kind. So we could try and dismantle the Empire in a way that uh, maybe uh, we could be kind of honorable in a way that um, makes us compassionate towards peasants and uh, things like that. And on the other hand, executes or you know maybe executes the cruel um cruel lords of the realm and lets everything else go for a ransom because of course being a uh, being a bandit it would probably make sense wouldn't it it would definitely make sense for us to um ransom the opponent rather than execute them of course so let's actually just have a look no one else needs to level up okay we have 43 out of 50. I, th I guess this is the best time as any to uh, fight these guys. They do have some veteran caravan guards, so they might be a little bit difficult for us, and they are actually much faster than we are. So this might be problematic. This might be quite problematic. Uh, you know what? I think I might just want to... Uh... Ah, there we go. Yes, let's attack the Northern Empire then. <laughs> uh... 
Oh wow. Okay, they've got a they've got much more strength than we do. All right. So it seems like we probably won't be able to do that just yet. We do need to gain a little bit of extra power, I suppose, before we can do anything against these caravans, which is absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with doing that. So we will have to fight some more uh, some more people, some more looters and things like that. Don't really want to sneak, but I'm going to try it. Wow, that actually worked. Can you believe it? Wow, okay, that was kind of kind of risky on my part. But we're going to just try and recruit as many people as I can. And who's this? Ah, uh, yes. I can't actually go and trade while in disguise. But uh, we do have someone else here. Oh, a rival gang moving in. All right, let's have a look at the rival gang and see if we can maybe help out the criminal leaders a little bit. And we'll see how that goes. But I am very, very interested to see how this goes because I have tried to do this maybe like once before, but it didn't go well. I've got a problem, and his name is Tharos Sauerwine. His people have been coming around outside the walls, robbing the dice players and the drinkers enjoying themselves under our protection. Me and my boys are eager to teach them a lesson, but I figure some extra muscle wouldn't hurt. Well, what do you want me to do? We are preparing for an attack, but we need some time to gather our men. Meet me here in Jalmaris after three days, and we'll strike them together. All right. Okay. Let's do it. So, do I need to sneak in again? Please don't let me hear. Yes, okay, I don't have to sneak in. Oh, it seems like I do have to sneak in, potentially. Right. So, I guess three days, right? Three days? So, autumn 6th, I believe. All right, so she finally sent word that uh, we are ready to come in to the town and participate in the fight. Now, bear in mind that, of course, we had to wait for her runner to come and warn us about that. And I had to pass the check again. 34% chance managed to make it in. And uh, I don't even know how, how lucky I was being right there, to be honest. Anyway, are you ready for the fight? I am ready. Let's do this. All right, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of weapon I have in my civilian outfit, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be anything too good. Oh, okay, I've got an axe. All right, so here we go. This is the first time I've done this quest. I, I wholeheartedly do not remember doing this quest ever before, so this should be extremely fun. I do have a bandit ironclad with me, so this should be pretty easy for us. I wonder whether they have any projectiles, like stones or something like that, because if they do, then we might have some issues, but if they don't, then I might very well be able to do quite well. Ah, hello, Tharos. Ah, I'm standing in the way of your camera here, kind of. <laughs> Come in to fight me, eh? Did Katila Flat Cakes put you up to this? Look, there's no need for bloodshed. This town is big enough for all of us. But if bloodshed is what you want, I'll be happy to provide. What I want to say is, you don't need, be, you don't need to be a part of this, apparently. I double whatever she's paying you if you join us. Um, well, actually, no. Uh, I'm actually going to say no because I gave my word, and while we are potentially going to be playing a Robin Hood kind of character, I think that would be kind of fun and interesting, actually, so I'm going to say that I give my word. You'll regret this. Oh, uh, will I? Will I really? Because I do a lot of damage, actually. Wow, okay, yeah. Oh, come on, take him down, take him down. Nice. Oh, yes. And, uh, yeah, I believe that is indeed that. Yeah, my athletic skill. I am not used to having such a high athletic skill. I mean, I think with uh, with Barney, I used to have decent athletics at the end of the playthrough, but not anywhere close to this towards the, uh, towards the beginning. So that is actually kind of amazing. Anyway, there you go. A nice victory for us right there. Very easy, actual fact. I, uh... <laughs> Didn't really expect it to be that easy. Ah, now that was as good a fight as any as I've had. Here, take this purse, you deserve it. And there you go, 522 gold. We gained some charm. Bear in mind that if we are going to be a Robin Hood kind of character, it would probably make sense for us to spec a little bit more into charm as we go forward. Now, here's the thing. This is a empire town. And personally, what I would like to do is raid the empire town. But first, I think we'll probably do something like, I mean, this is Western Empire. So personally, I would much prefer to raid Southern Empire. So we're going to go and head down to Poros and Zionica and so on and so forth. And we're going to see if I can maybe find, let me see here. I do have my sword equipped. And this is my civilian gear, by the way. 
it seems like I can use a short sword, so I might like to use a short sword instead of the axe. That might be quite nice. But uh, yeah, also bear in mind that I would like to get some throwing daggers and things like that, because with the new mod, I should be able to use throwing daggers in those street fights. Oh yeah, we're not we're not allowed inside here. I actually forgot about that for a second. Anyway, let's go over to Poros. I might be allowed into Southern Empire places, but uh, we'll see if that is indeed the case. I'm actually wondering how I'm going to increase my chances of sneaking in. I assume roguery is what I need to do to be able to get that working. But uh, yeah, let's actually just take a quick look and see what they have here. Anything for my civilian outfit? Not much. What about ranged weapons? Yes, they do. There you go. They actually have some throwing knives. So I will be buying the throwing knives and equipping them. Stack amount is only three of those things. I thought I had improved throwing weapons. I think actually, you know what? I think I uh, did not install that mod, even though it would enable us to have improved throwing weapons, which would dramatically increase the us usability of those throwing weapons. So I probably will equip that at a later point. But there you go. All right. So, Poros, shall we uh, shall we attack here? I think we shall. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the town center, and you will then see exactly what the more raiding mod does. I was uh, looking at this previously for the uh, the bandit playthrough, but it seemed kind of seemed kind of complicated. So maybe uh, maybe it won't be something that I'll do too well with, but. Uh, Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, yes, I'm ready. Very good. Raiders signaled, waiting for the first attack. Press M again to call it off. All right, so I'm just going to wait for my forces to appear. And, uh, well, we actually do need to attack first, don't we? So let's attack this guy. Yeah, there we go. Take that, Imperial Crossbowman. And I have now gained 159 gold. Because bear in mind that every single hit that you have in these kinds of raids will enable you to gain some money. Take him down. Take him down. Yes. Come on. Don't take any damage. Yes, take that, horse trader. And now we have all of my infantry right here. Let's do it. Group on me. Let's do this. All right, so now we can enter the actual town and go on an absolute in-person raid. Personally, I feel like this is extremely hilariously fun to do because you're going to be able to basically attack whatever you want to attack and you are going to be gaining good amounts of gold every single time a kill is made. And personally, I feel like this, fe this feels so much more immersive than waiting for a bar on the campaign map to fill because that's basically how it is to do a normal raid. Of course, bear in mind that you won't be able to do a normal, you, you won't be able to do a normal raid against a town anyway. So this is basically the most immersive that you're gonna get. And just look at how many enemies are coming at us right now. Well, technically they're not even enemies, but they are townsmen. But every single kill I make gives me cash. So the more I'm able to kill, the better. Now do bear in mind, ah, yep, guards are now coming. All right, we should probably get out of here, guys. Let's do this. Let's run. Oh dear. Okay, yes, this is this is a bit problematic. Guards are now coming. I can leave if I'm far enough away from them, and it seems like I have been able to escape. Now I wonder, I wonder what would actually happen if I went back in. What would actually happen if I went back in? I wonder whether it would just refresh what has actually happened. Yes, it seems like it did actually refresh what has happened. But bear in mind that every single time you do this, you're going to be losing relation with the denizens of this particular town. So that's obviously a bit of a thing. But anyway, let's see if I can do this. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, um, get it back a little bit here, because I was a bit worried by all of those people just spawning in right in front of me, but I actually just realized that they are my people now. So, yeah, I don't really need to worry about that, but yeah. Any, anything more that we can do right here? Kill them! Kill them all! Technically, <laughs> technically we should probably not be killing, uh, we should not be killing civilians, considering if we're going to be playing Robin Hood. But, uh, they are... 
I guess, the denizens of the Empire. And if we are having a grudge against the Empire, then this makes sense. You know, this does make sense. Take them down. Take them all down. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, we probably want to be a bit careful about um, making sure that we get out of here before the guards actually, uh, you know, descend upon us. The guards, as far as I'm aware, have a 90-second timer. So if you want to be a little bit more immersive, then you can also time that in your head or you can time that however you so desire. But I personally think that this mod is extremely fun, very immersive indeed, and uh, definitely something that I very much appreciate the modding community has worked on. Super, super fun. And uh, yeah, now I I can actually still go back in there because it doesn't seem to increase your criminality. Now, obviously, because it is a mod, it probably won't do that that much. But oh dear. Okay, now we're getting some... Uh, <laughs> now we might be getting some issues here. Oh, a lance. Okay. Well, why not? Let's do, let's do the tournament here. Oh, I've, gi I've been given thrown weapons. You know how I am with thrown weapons. Not, oh, not not in ter not terribly good. Nice, nice headshot. Oh, I kind of wanted to get this guy dead because he's uh, kind of hard, I think. Nice, nice. Okay, come on, let me help you out there, fellow. There we go. I actually helped him out quite nicely. Very nice. All right, so now we can skip this round and we can do another bet. Okay, I've got to be a bit careful here. Okay, we've got two archers. Uh Ooh, that was close. Nice block or dodge, shall we say. Oh, nice. Okay, phew. I was a bit close there for a second. Okay, so I seem to be getting quite a few errors at the moment. I think I suppose that is because of the more raiding mod. So, yeah, as you can see right there, check if we are done with this and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I probably should have just left the situation uh, instead of doing a tournament after it so that is my bad but uh hopefully it will stop with the error once we are done with the tournament i am actually up against an imperial cataphract which is not exactly great but uh yeah we'll be we're being given a sword and a shield so i should be all right no 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 oh no <laughs> oh dear. Oh, he's not blocking. He's not blocking at all. I have this on veteran combat AI. Surely they should block. Okay. A bit weird. A bit weird. But there you go. We actually did achieve a victory right there. Very nice indeed. Nice amount of money. And we did get a lance as well. So let's actually see whether the error continues if I move away. No. See? I think basically what is meant to happen after the raid is it's basically meant to be like, oh, okay, yeah, you probably won't be able to spend more time in this town after you've raided it. I suppose that's that's the uh, the general gist of things. So that's good to know so that I probably should not do that again. <laughs> anyway, let's continue increasing my athletic skill. We do have another couple of things here. Going to be going for 3% increased movement speed. I personally feel like movement speed is going to be super, super powerful for us in the end. And I think I'm actually going to go for more endurance. There we go. All right. So now what do we want to do? Do we want to very much attack the enemy? And I'm talking about actually attack the enemy here. Oh, there we go. Bruce has actually gained another level. So we have now maxed out athletics, which is very nice to see. Shall we go for some throwing? Because I do have to in install that uh, improved throwing mod. I think that would probably be quite good. We should probably also do roguery as well. Bear in mind that when you use the raiding from the more raiding mod, you don't get roguery skill ups, which is obviously a bit of an issue. So I think I'm probably going to do that i'm going to do one more in that and we probably also want to do some social as well but 
How much can I do of this? Hit points increased by 10. Party food consumption wages decreased. Your bashes and kicks knock enemy down. Eh, you know what? I don't really mind about that being uh, 210. I think that's a pretty decent amount. So I, I think I'm going to go for some social. Try and maybe then give ourselves some focus points in charm as we go forward. So I guess what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look and see if there's a village nearby that is relatively shall we say, rich in what it actually has available. I'm thinking iron ore or uh, maybe something like that. Clay? Is clay actually that good to sell? Oh, silver ore. Hello there. All right, so silver ore is what we're going to be targeting right here. And I'm going to hope that we'll be able to pull this off because bear in mind that I am obviously uh, pretty weak. <laughs> My army is not that good and uh, if someone does attempt to attack us we will have a big big problem on our hands so let's see take a hostile action raid the village all right so they are actually going to be attacking us right now which is absolutely fine i did expect that to happen but bear in mind that once we have done this the southern empire will be very annoyed at us and right. they will try to hunt us down no doubt considering my criminal criminal level in uh I think the Northern or Western Empire, I think the Western Empire doesn't really like us either. So that's going to be a bit of an issue too. Also bear in mind that I don't have a shield. That is a big oversight on my part. I probably should have equipped a shield instead of one of my throwing axes stacks. So uh, now if, um, if we do have archers against us, which it does look like we actually have, it is going to be a bit bad. Yes, it is going to be a bit bad. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of damage here, but hopefully my athletic skill... Oh, no! Ouch! Okay, that's actually quite quite damaging. I don't really want to die in the first raid that we've done ever, so I'm going to try and use a couple of my forces to kind of, you know, buffer myself against the opponent a little. Try and level up my two-handed weapon proficiency a little bit as well now, too. And I believe that is indeed that. Very easy indeed. We did end up losing a couple of people, but uh, that is to be expected. I mean, we are bandits. We all knew what we signed up for at the very beginning of our adventure here. So let's see. Uh, no shield. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, well, what can you do? Anyway, let's take everything that we can. Uh, I don't have any companions yet. That's also something that I need to do. I need to get a medic companion as fast as possible. A scouting companion as well would be very, very advantageous for us. And then everything else can be roguery and, and, and you know, people that focus on raids and things like that. So we'll see how we go here. I'm a bit worried about being attacked personally. So we'll see how it goes. Also, bear in mind that uh, my roguery skill is going to be going up at a pretty significant rate. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually very, very fast. I am actually kind of disappointed at that. Ooh, nice. Look at that. You disperse into the shrubs and bushes. The enemies halt and seem to hesitate for a while before resuming their pursuit. Look at that. That is super cool. So yeah, you can actually try to get away and you can leave some troops behind and so on and so forth. Because let's face it, there's no way ever I would be able to deal with a vassal that has 133 units. Very unlucky, I feel, that I, uh, that I got attacked by that guy so incredibly fast. But... We did level up our roguery skill a little bit, and uh, I guess that's kind of decent. But we have now formally basically declared war against the Southern Empire. Let's see if I can maybe do a little bit extra here. But we do now only have a very small amount of troops. So I guess the best thing that I can probably do is head down, or well, technically not down, but head up to Northern Empire territory, try and get some more brigands and things to join us. And there's another one. Look at that. There's a lot of vassals in the area. Got to say, I'm not a big fan of that. So I guess the best thing that I might be able to do is also maybe try to uh, just continue leveling those guys up as much as possible. So let's just get a whole bunch of these. And it's really cool that we can actually do this. 
very easily. And I'm actually going to go and buy some food as well. We need a whole bunch of food. We should probably try and prey upon their caravans a bit. Uh, a little bit more than we have been. And let's get some mules to increase our... Um, increase our carry capacity as well, because I'd like to have enough food to be able to sustain us. But obviously, as it stands right now, that's not really doing very well. So there you go. So we've got a whole bunch of these guys. Let's level them up into armored raiders for the moment. And we should probably also go over here and sell our people too. So let's do that. Oh, wait a minute. What, wait, who's that companion? Aha, hello. You are a swordsman, are you not? Ooh. He's got, wow, he's got insane two-handed weapon proficiency. All right, I'm going to try and get this guy just literally because he is a companion and I would like to be able to have at least one companion before the end of the episode because it just, it just so happens that we really didn't have anyone else. So let's see, he's 1800. All right, let's, uh, there we go. Now we've gained some renown as well right there too. And I'm actually wondering how close we are to the next clan level because that would enable us to have an even larger party, which would be very nice. We are pretty far away from it. Uh, 25, actually. Only 25. I don't think that's going to be too bad. And this guy, I could spec him into scouting and things like that, but I think he's going to be pretty fine with the way he is at the moment. And uh, yeah. I guess uh, in the next episode, we will once again try and raid a village. But I think the best thing that we might be able to do is attack a... Mm, pro probably attack a caravan. And you know what? I actually want to attack a caravan right now. So I'm going to try and find one. Well, not exactly a caravan, but we do have another village to raid. And uh, this uh, this particular good or product that it uh, is, is specializing in is sheep. And I'm thinking that that is probably going to be kind of decent for us. I don't think it's going to be amazing, but it should be it should be pretty good. So I'm just going to hide around here and try and um, ambush these guys a little and uh, just level up my two-handed basically i'd like to be able to get to 25 two-handed if at all possible before the end of this fight there we go there's 25 i might end up dying hopefully not but uh yeah there you go up ah, this guy's trying to he's, he's trying to escape he's trying to escape throwing weapons throwing weapons get him get him we cannot allow anyone to live and warn the nearby lords he's gonna escape isn't he Oh, I really thought that was going to hit for a second there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so this might be problematic. Might be pretty, pretty bad. Uh, but this guy needs a whole bunch of stuff. And there you go. We have now given him some stuff. Don't really want him to use a mule. I'm pretty happy with him being a, a uh, infantry combat person. So we'll hopefully be able to have that work too. Now, we are going to be absolutely destroying all of the relation with every single person in the Southern Empire at the moment, but I really don't mind about that too much. All right, so 1.5% extra two-handed damage or 3% increased hit points. I think hit points are going to be pretty good for us right here. 3%, while it is a small amount, might very well end up stacking with a bunch of other skills as well. I'm running. I'm running. I, I think I might be able to escape from him if I go into the trees. If I can go into the trees, because we have the Batanian, uh, Batanian forest uh, skill or culture, shall we say, we are able to move through the trees at a much faster rate than normal. And that means that I can actually escape this enemy, or at least I hope that we will be able to. He is laying in a massive pursuit here. But if we can continue to stay in the trees, I should be able to escape from him eventually. Yes, eventually. And there you go. Nice. We actually managed to uh, escape. They uh, they went they, they went they went around this way, which is pretty cool. I'm actually going to well, that's a funny thing. I did see a caravan and of course upon seeing the caravan, it just wasn't able to be attacked by me because of course there's everyone around, you know? Huge amounts of people around. So that's uh 
Uh, that is an unfortunate thing indeed. Anyway, I guess that will be it for this episode. I will try to do more raids in the next one. It is kind of difficult considering most of the enemies around are quite strong, but I am hopeful that I will be able to fight some bandits in my off-screen time as well, maybe try and level them up to their next levels because they are actually quite strong once they level up. So it would be kind of cool to have those guys running around with us and, um, well, we'll see how it goes. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.